Locating small intestine three at the end of the distal palmar crease on the ulnar side of the hand. We go between the red and white skin, but what we often don't do is palpate with our fingernail to feel the branch of the ulnar nerve here, which is the dorsal cutaneous branch of the ulnar nerve. It goes to the pinky finger precisely along the small intestine channel. So what I'm doing here is I'm combing with my fingernail in that space between the red and white skin and I'm trying to trap the nerve against the edge of the fifth metacarpal bone. And it, when you get it just right, it'll feel like a wet noodle, like a vermicelli, a very thin noodle. And it'll just click under your finger but you need to trap it just right against the bone, which is easier said than done. Mark with your fingernail, or here I'm doing it with the instrument, the pointer, where that outer edge of the nerve is located so that when I insert the needle, I do not insert it directly into the nerve, which can be pretty uncomfortable. You want to angle the needle on the palmer side of the nerve. And if you do this just right, this is relatively painless. Usually Dutch he will propagate up or down the small intestine channel. And it usually does this pretty superficially. You could do this with a half inch needle or a one inch needle. Here I'm using a 1.5, just demonstrating that it goes in very easily. So this needle right now is more into the muscle. I felt a twitch response in the abductor digiti minimi. So I'm gonna back it up a little and now I'm gonna try to glide the needle along the palmer aspect of that nerve until I get Dutchie propagation up or down the channel. And you'll usually get this very superficially. And once you get that, you let the needle sit as long as that's comfortable for the patient.